Well, we're in front of our power tree right here. What does that mean? We got another cool charger. We got this 40 amp charger from EV Goer. What is so special about it? Well, it has some cool features, like it has a 25 foot cord. It's portable. It comes with a bracket, so you can just hang it into the put it into the bracket at home. Um, it has a time delay, so you come home early. You can charge later when it's cheaper. You can adjust the amperage. So if you're on an outlet that is not 40 amp capable you can lower that or for some other reason as we experienced here actually if we want to charge of solar we sometimes have to lower the amperage so this will do that but there is one thing that is the future about this charger and that is because it is a NAX, a NACS a North American charging standard it has a Tesla plug on it and with that this is the future as it is 2024 and this year manufacturers will start to switch over to the NAX in their production. Most likely in August when they switch model years, uh, Ford and GM will start with NAX plugs on certain models. So, well, let's take a closer look. So the EV Goer 40 amp charger is a portable charger that can also be used at home. And it comes in this handy carrying bag. The bag is not padded, but it seems sturdy. And we'll open this up here and see what we got. Well, we got a manual. And then here is the future. This is the NAX plug right here. This is what we're looking for right this is the future then well here is the power unit itself which is a nice design simple design does have a display uh, adjusts for amperage uh, has a timer and uh, it will show you the things you need on the display and then we have a bracket here so at home you can easily install it so it doesn't hang off the cord here permanent. And it does come with a NEMA 1450, which allows it to go up to 40 amps. And you get the hardware with it, so there's a few screws with it, so you can install the bracket at home. And the other cool thing is this here. It's always so nice to see. Look at this. <laughs> that is the thing here. 25 feet roughly here we got about of cord um, it's a soft one nice and flexible so that it feels really good this this is one that works also in the cold that doesn't get too stiff so you can't handle it anymore and uh, that's what we want to see all right so i guess we just uh, need to see if we can use this future to charge that future right here. See if we can charge our Cybertruck with it. And then we'll see if we can use a adapter and charge our Rivian with it on the J1772. Because you may want to buy this right now, even though you have a vehicle that uses a J1772 and then you use an adapter because probably in a couple years or a few years or whenever you may switch to a vehicle that has the NAX plug because this plug is coming pretty much with all manufacturers here sooner or later. So here we got our EV Goer 40 amp portable charger with the NAX plug. It's installed now with the bracket that just takes four screws. You just screw it into the wall, no big deal. Just as always, make sure you got a little slack on here so you don't have strain on the wiring here when you install the bracket. And like we said, this charger is capable of adjusting amperage, capable of setting a time delay, so you don't have to charge during peak hours or come back out later and uh, plug the charger in or to plug the car in um, when rates drop on your grid. Then here we got the NAX plug and it does have the button on it here. But unfortunately you can see nothing happens. 
it does not open the charge port. We'll press there to open it. All right, and this should fit right in here. And it does. And now we'll see, I got green blinking. We're good, we're charging. So now I can look here on the display. So we can see here on the display now that it's charging. We got the running bar on the left there. We got the timer at the top. It also says charging. You can see we're set to 40 amps. It shows the temperature of the unit. And then on the bottom here, we show the voltage. Over here, we show the power in kilowatts and the amps over this way. And then uh, it tells us how many kilowatt hours we have been adding during the time uh, that it's been charging. So the display basically tells us everything that we need to know. But yeah, so it is charging. Let's see, how do we stop it? I can press here, I can press it to stop the charge. The only thing it doesn't do is open the charge port. But pressing here will stop the charge, so no big deal. Uh, just like on any J1772, when you press the button or the lever, whatever you got on there, this will stop it. All right, now, well, let's check out this one here. And for this, we will need an adapter. And this is a Tesla tap adapter that I had for several years. And you, with those adapters, usually you plug them in, give it about 30 seconds. It depends a little bit on the design of uh, the adapter, what it really requires, and the charger, what it requires, um, so that a charger can actually switch to the J1772. And then we plug this in here. There we go. And I heard a click, and we got a green blink there. And we are charging here, we're ramping up. So it's as simple as that. So this charger can charge your Tesla, as well as a J1772, as well as any future vehicle that comes with the NAX plug. That's what this charger can do. So instead of buying a J1772 charger for several hundred dollars, just get this charger and an adapter and you're set. And then you can charge anything and everything. So that is the way to go rather than buying one now and then maybe in a couple of years later you need to switch to an axe charger because everyone is going to switch to the North American charging standard here in North America. So all right this ramped up and we're at about nine kilowatts here so that is working wonderful. So we're getting full blast here good doing fine. Now we need to check these other features that we have. So let's see We'll stop this here, get this apart. <clears throat> now we need to see how to adjust the amperage and the timer. Now let's see how to adjust the amperage. First, you don't want to be plugged in. Press the amperage button for about two seconds. Then it will start to blink up there. Then you can adjust the amperage by one amp at a time by pressing positive or negative. Let's go down to 24, press amps real quick. Now it's saved 24. And now we can plug in. And now it will start charging at up to 24 amps. There we go. Simple as that. So you can adjust your amperage and that comes in handy many times when you have an outlet, if you use adapters and you don't have a 50 amp outlet. Or um, for us, we use it when we uh, power our uh, chargers out here or our outlet out here, our NEMA 1450 from solar, then we have to lower the charge rate 
which we can do in the Teslas on the screen, but in the Rivian we can't. So we're using this right here to lower the charge rate. And it's really nice that you can adjust it by single amps and don't have to go the full steps like many other chargers that are preset according to outlet amperages. Here you can choose uh, your exact amperage, which yeah is really handy for us when we charge off solar. So now we got to look at how to work with the delay. So pressing and holding the clock button makes this blink up there. Put a two hour delay in here. Press real quick to confirm. And now it stopped charging. Okay, so for the delay, you plug in first and then you set your delay. And now the timer is running backwards. We're at one hour, 59 minutes and some seconds there. And eventually when that times out, it will start to charge. So pretty simple. And it's, it's pretty nice like that. So you, you plug in, you know it's working at that point because it starts charging, set your timer and you're good to go. So. Yeah, so a pretty handy charger. It's not huge in size. That is also important, especially when you carry it along in your vehicle. It does have all the safety functions. It's got like 17 safety functions, just like all the others. It has over temp protection, over voltage, under voltage, all that stuff. Um, the usual uh, water, water resistant housing here, it's all sealed up so you can stay out in the rain, not a problem. If you wanna use it outdoors, just don't submerge it in water, okay? Just like any of those chargers, you're not supposed to put them under water. <laughs> but yeah, it's got all the functions. It's really nice with the 25 foot cord that is really flexible, that makes it super nice. Um, with an ax plug, it's the future. So, I mean, this is a charger that you want right now because you don't really want to buy a Chase 1772 anymore. They're going away eventually. Get yourself an adapter if you still have a Chase 1772 vehicle and then you're set, then you can charge anything and everything with this charger and the adapter. So, yeah. So go check this charger out on the uh, ichievgoer.com website. Um, at the time of recording, this was $279 on their website or on Amazon. There's a link down below. Go check it out. Uh, I really like this charger, pretty handy. It does everything one needs, um, but the display, you can even see what's going on. You can see how many kilowatt hours you added, what the voltage is on an outlet, which is kind of nice, I guess, when you're traveling and you're plugging in into an outlet that is unknown, you can see the voltage there. So that uh, confirms that you have good voltage. If the voltage would drop too low anyway, it will cut out. It has under voltage protection. If the voltage is too high, it has over voltage protection. The over amperage protection, everything's there. And as I pointed out, it's really nice that you can adjust the amperage one amp at a time, um, which is very convenient in certain situations. So for us, like I said, this charger makes it possible to charge the Rivian exactly at the charge rate that we choose. We don't have to go by a charge rate that's preset to a certain outlet because it, then we're stepping from like 16 to 24 amps, but I would like to be at 20 because that's what our solar can put out at that time for the next few hours. And I don't want to sit at 16, but I can't be at 24. Otherwise I'm going to drain my batteries in there. And I don't want that either. I want to just draw directly from the solar. So this charger makes that possible. I like this charger. I like that it has the NAX plug, um, like I said, Get one of those chargers with the NAX plug and, and uh, if you have a Chase 1772 vehicle right now, get an adapter for it and then you can charge anything. You can charge any Tesla, you can charge any uh, Chase 1772 vehicle and you can charge any NAX vehicle in the future with this charger. So in a couple of years, you don't have to buy another charger. You can just stick with that one from now on. So yeah, go check them out, uh, ichievgoer.com and uh, get you an axe charger. In any event, thank you for watching. Goodbye.